Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover this important equations of a stable multivibrator using op-amp. We have already covered the working of a stable multivibrator in the last video. We studied how this circuit is producing the square wave. Okay. Now the frequency with which this square wave is getting generated is nothing but frequency of oscillations and which is nothing but 1 upon 2 RC for a stable multivibrator. So from where this equation has come, we are going to see, we are going to derive it. It is very simple derivation. We will quickly go through it. So we know the working square wave is getting generated because output is oscillating, jumping between plus V set and minus V set. And why is this output bouncing between plus V set and minus V set? Because of the capacitor. Because capacitor is charging, discharging, charging, discharging. That's why the output is bouncing. Okay. So we have to start with the capacitor voltage to reach to frequency of oscillations. Okay. So the equation for finding out what is the voltage of capacitor at any instant of time is given as IV. IV is nothing but initial voltage of capacitor. Then E raised to minus T upon RC plus final voltage. Final voltage is the maximum available voltage to charge towards. So final voltage into 1 minus E raised to T upon RC. So here RC is nothing but your time constant. So let's find out what are the values of initial voltage and final voltage. So the capacitor voltage is bouncing between minus beta Vsat and beta Vsat. So the initial voltage you can consider is this point minus beta Vsat. So the initial voltage is minus beta Vsat. Now what is the final voltage over here? Now for T on period, your final voltage is not beta Vsat. Final voltage is not equal to your capacitor's maximum voltage. Final voltage is nothing but the maximum voltage which was available to charge towards for a capacitor. So maximum plus Vsat was available but it could not charge towards plus Vsat. That's the another case. But maximum plus Vsat was available not beta Vsat. So final voltage is Vsat and we are considering the time frame of T on. Okay. So that's why we analyzed only this much part. And what is the value of Vc? Vc is nothing but beta Vsat. Because it charged till beta V set value. Okay. So let's substitute these values over here. So your initial voltage is minus beta V set. Your final voltage is V set. And T is replaced by T on. And your V C is nothing but beta V set. Okay. I have just substituted these values. Now we are going to simplify it quickly. So you can see here V set is common in all the terms. So divide by V set on both the sides. So V set will disappear from each term and you will get beta equal to this first term without V set and this bracket. Okay. Now I am just collecting this minus 1 and this minus beta in a bracket because it is common. Just rearranged it, nothing else. Now I am sending this plus V1 on left hand side. So it will become beta minus 1. Okay. And on right hand side I have just pulled out this minus sign out of the bracket. So here we have minus E in the bracket 1 plus beta. Okay. Now I sent this minus sign to the left hand side. So it became 1 minus beta. Now just send this 1 plus beta to left hand side. So E will remain alone. So it will be 1 minus beta upon 1 plus beta on right hand side. Now just take log on both of the sides. So ln is a natural log. We all know that log E is nothing but ln natural log. Okay. So this E will be removed. So you will get minus T on upon RC ln in the bracket this whole term. Okay. Now I am sending this RC with this minus sign to right hand side. So it will become minus RC ln and that bracket value term. Now this equation is for T on. Okay. But it is a square wave generator. So T on is nothing but T off. Both are equal. Both time periods are equal. So you can just simply write T off is nothing but the same equation. Okay. So T is nothing but T on plus T off, which is equal to this. So T becomes twice of this equation, right? So I have just multiplied by 2 and wrote the same equation, okay? Now we have got time period. We need a frequency. So just take inverse of it, okay? Now we have to get rid of this beta, okay? We know that what is beta? Beta is R1 upon R1 plus R2. So I just substituted beta values over here. So in numerator, it will become 2R1 plus R2. So R1 will get cancelled and we will get only R2 in the denominator. Okay. So we can replace this whole term by this R1 plus R2 combination. So we just replace this bracket 
with R1 R2 combination and we got our frequency of oscillations. So this is the frequency of oscillations with which your a stable multivibrator is producing a square wave. This is a little bit bulky equation. So you can simplify it by assuming R1 is equal to 1.16 times of R2. This whole term is getting simplified because of one assumption R1 equal to 1.6 times R2. So your frequency will be 1 upon 2 RC. Okay. So we derived the frequency of oscillations. It was very easy. So while solving the design question in exam, you will need these two equations. What is the relation between R1 and R2 and what is the frequency of oscillations? So they will give you the frequency in the question like 1 kilohertz and you will be asked to find what is the value of R, C, R1, R2, everything. So designing means finding the values of these components. Okay. So we will solve the design question in the next video. So that's all for this video. I hope you understood the derivation of these two equations. I will come back with the design video. If you have liked this video, press the like button, share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.